Hello, and welcome to episode 250 of the Casual Try Hard Podcast. I'm Brian. And I'm James. And it's a Saturday because my wife has a lot of work to do on uh, our new recording day of Tuesday. <laughs> so It's just a um, wild week. You had a pretty wild weekend, too. So Yeah. So we are going to uh, do our last um, of the monocolor color pie episodes, and we're going to talk about little green men. Yeah. Green can do everything. The end. The end. There you go. <laughs> Hey, uh, I, uh, I had a thought. With for... all that, I think we got a show. Bang, bang, bang. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> yeah, short and sweet tonight. No, there you go. But seriously though, no. um, I I forgot to tell you during the pre-show. I had a thought about the the next one of these that we do. Okay. Uh, because the next one's going to be some number of color pairs. Like I don't think okay. the color pairs we have to go quite as in depth as the colors because there's going to be some overlap there. Um. But I think we could talk about enemies and allies in general. Also. Okay. So that might be a an interesting way to approach that topic. Yeah. So if you have a better way to approach that topic, you can reach out to us on Facebook, Discord, X, X, uh, or email us. Mm -hmm. All those links are in the show's description. So reach out. Uh, Cards are showing up on Discord from time to time. Mm -hmm. So that's good. Yep. Yeah, like come over, say hey, and give us some some suggestions. Yeah, hit us up. We love hearing from you. Uh, if you're looking to support the show, as always, there's a couple ways you can do it. The first is with our TCG Player affiliate link, casualtryhard.com slash TCG. Uh, follow that link to TCG Player. Do your shopping. You'll be supporting us at the same time, and we really appreciate it. Helps us out. Helps us cover costs so we can keep doing the show. Uh, if you want to support us more directly, you can do so at patreon.com slash casual tryhard MTG. Patrons get access to our show notes. Uh, they also get access to about another hour's worth of content out of us in the form of our pre show. And you get put on my mailing list for when I have swag to send out. I haven't heard from any patrons of something that I can do in the meantime until I get, uh, get this stupid program running on my computer that I can't figure out how to get to run properly on my computer. Um, so I'm still thanks wizards. Yeah. <laughs> I'm still brainstorming there. Uh, but like I said, last time, it, this one might be a little bit late getting out. So I have an idea, but I got a lot of work to do before I can do this other idea that I'm supposed to be doing in the meantime of my primary idea. So, so we'll see Too many we ideas. There. Yeah. Um, but yeah, if you want to support us, we'd really appreciate it. Um, patreon.com slash schedule, try MTG. Head on over there, chip in a couple bucks, and know that you'll be helping to support your favorite podcast. Yeah. All right. So, green. Little green men. So, um, I think that you know, we we all we all know the memes, mm -hmm. right? But we'll go through kind of what green is supposed to do. <laughs> well, maybe yeah. being into, like what green does in the way it's supposed to do it. This one's going to be weird because yeah, because it's green. Um, so, but because it's going to be weird, I figured the last couple colors that we did, we really didn't talk about the colors philosophy. We just kind of talked about what the color does, mm -hmm. and I think green's color, green's philosophy, um, ties more into why green can do some other things. So maybe this time we'd start with that, if that's okay. all right. Sure. Um, green is like all about nature and like the cycle of life and death and like harmony with your surroundings. The other colors are in their own ways trying to like shape the world to suit their needs. Green is more about working with the world to like accomplish a goal or whatever. Um, which is a little bit different. And I think that's kind of why, um, green gets to do a little bit more. They just go about yeah. it in a different way. Or I was going to say it's a green's either about like working with the world or working to return the world back to its like natural unadulterated yeah. state. Yeah, exactly. Yep. All right. Undoing the damage from the other colors. Yes. That's a good way to think about it. Yep. So, uh, what are our our iconic races? Uh, we have <laughs> we have our little race, which is elves. Yep, that's a 
I guess that's a no-brainer. Like, everybody should realize that, right? Yeah. I mean, uh, Mana Elves, Mm -hmm. like, we're in the original, we're in the very first Magic set. Yep. And then, like, we even now, we get kind of two Mana Mana Dorks all the time. Yep. And they're usually Elves. Yes. Or a lot of times they're Elves, at least. And then what is our big one? Uh, well, it's supposed to be Hydras. Like, officially, it's supposed to be Hydras. Okay. So that's the answer. Okay, what, what, are, what are some of the other runnings? If you're, you're like, it's supposed to be Hydras. Well, green gets a lot of beasts, and beasts can be uh, yeah. kind of any size. From creator yeah, hoof was... size down to, like, little one twos. Or I o- was looking... O3s, I guess, right? Isn't our boy Earl Grazer a beast? Yes. Yes, I was looking for um, dinosaurs today because mm-hmm. uh, uh, I was like, like, oh, maybe the red green archetype in the cube should be dinosaurs. And I was like looking, and uh, they've gone back and eroded a bunch of beasts into dinosaurs. Yeah, it's kind of funny. It's like we all knew you were a dinosaur. We just <laughs> didn't have your name. Yeah, we'll except fix that like for you. I, the iconic creatures, I think, are supposed to be like pretty consistent across sets yeah and there's a there's a lot more sets that have beasts and hydras than dinosaurs oh yeah absolutely i yeah. wasn't saying that but just oh, just you're yeah, like yeah. they get a bunch of beasts and it's like and some of those beasts got turned into dinosaurs i just i was because i just kept seeing like beast yeah. beast beast i was like oh these are all the ones that got eroded yeah uh not too long ago um yeah i mean it's not like Hydra is a thing that you get like every single set, mm-hmm. but like you get like the what was the uh, the goose mother mm-hmm. was like a goose Hydra. Yep. Um, Genesis Hydra from like M fifteen. Yep. Miss Cutter Hydra from Theros. Polyprenos. Yeah. is a Hydra. So yeah, that makes sense. All right. So. Uh, Green strength's very long. Uh, so what, what does green do? I like this. Uh, so it, creatures in general is kind of what green's supposed to be good at. Yeah, right? like green can, and this is kind of where we get into like some murkiness, I guess. Um, in general, green spells are not as good as their creatures. Whereas like blue has really strong spells and their creatures kind of suck. Um, green is the opposite its creatures are efficient um like they're they're just in general better like yeah white will get more powerful smaller creatures like better small creatures and red will get more aggressive creatures that are just good at attacking but kind of as a whole green gets like the best creatures in general yeah so um, I like how you like green can kind of do anything if it's like kind of tied to a creature. Yeah. Um, Where black can do anything as long as you pay enough life. Well, I mean, not just life. Like black sometimes wants you to sacrifice stuff or discard yeah, or cards, like, you, like whatever as long additional. As it's painful costs. enough. Yeah, as long as it's painful enough, black can do whatever it wants. And green is kind of the same thing, except with creatures. Um, as mm. long as it relates to creatures somehow or uses a creature or whatever. Like that's something that green gets to do. Um, green gets the most efficient pump spells. Like all the way back into alpha, we had giant growth. I, I think green's pump spells a lot of times are symmetrical. Yeah. They're more like plus two, plus two, like giant growth, plus three, plus three, where the red pump spells kind of the other, like kind of main pump spell color. Mm-hmm. I guess white would be next, but like you get like plus three plus one. Right. Plus two plus O oh, and like first strike or something. Right. Right. Like the red ones are very power focused. Green ones are typically like Titan Strength. Well, plus green four, gets plus bigger four. ones too. Like Yeah, they get big ones. Yeah. Like red doesn't get Titanic growth plus four plus four. Uh red doesn't get become immense plus six plus six. Yeah. But, like, just the idea that, like, they they pump your creatures so that they survive, yeah. as opposed to just pumping them so they can trade. Mm-hmm. 
and then also like i said green need its needs its creatures to do a thing um i don't have like a ton of examples like this is something green does kind of blanket um but i couldn't really come up with a ton of examples other than fight spells mm -hmm. which we're gonna look at in weaknesses instead of right now so okay. we'll circle back to that one um the one parallel that i kind of could draw was rituals like green doesn't get rituals where red and black get rituals mm -hmm. um green's form of ritual is something like a cryptolith right where yeah. it's kind of doing the same thing where you can get like an explosive amount of mana except you have to have creatures and tap them to get that mana mm -hmm. so and then the other thing is like maybe tutors even though like green can tutor for creatures um yeah. green also has creatures that tutor for creatures which the other colors don't get or not very many of yeah well like there i mean i guess there's um like there's Shadow recruiter Warner. there's recruiter of the guard oh in white. Yeah, yeah, yeah yeah there's imperial recruiter, recruiter in recruiter red in red yeah and then there's goblin matron in red yeah uh but like yeah green gets the the like worldly tutor right uh living wish mm -hmm. kind of like go get a creature well i was thinking more like Cheers. fauna shaman uh fauna shaman or oh, what is the the three drop one one that you get like a thing uh fierce empath yep yeah that too get a get a creature like main of value six or greater or something yeah. Go just get a big dumb idiot. It's like yep. okay, thank you. Go get the thing. Yeah. Um Yeah, so it does have more of like it's more focused on creatures and like a cave in lands. Yeah. Can you like can you think of any other things that other colors get to do that green does, but also like on a that's creature like, instead of like, like something that would be a spell that green gets to do but on a creature? I mean just I disenchant. Right, like green has uh green like, gets disenchant too though it does it's weird yeah right but like that affects often on a creature yeah. like i'm trying to think of something that like green only does on a creature yeah uh i mean hermit druid just milling your entire deck on a creature <laughs> sure, sure uh i guess that's the opposite of uh Thassa's oracle right when when you mill your whole deck on a creature yeah <laughs> Thassa's oracle is like when now that you've milled your whole deck yeah um yeah no i can't think of anything that's like like fight is the big one where yeah. like those that's tied together all right so what are our so what are we good at or what are we got going? we have mana acceleration like I said mana dorks mm -hmm. also um, like additional mana from lands like green mm -hmm. has things that double up the mana you make from lands like a wild growth back in alpha or uh, utopia sprawl or uh oh gosh what is the the two and a green mana flare from like kamagawa mm -hmm. it used to, like the, so it just doubles the mana that every land taps for i don't remember that one um but yeah and then you get like uh what is the the nyx bloom ancient yeah it triples your mana yeah <clears throat> So, good. Green also lets you like put extra lands into play as a form of mana acceleration. Things like explore mm -hmm. or um, the jelly or green Grazer. giant there. Yeah, or boreal grazer, Azusa. Um, just letting you put extra lands into play. Um, typically, like things that give you extra land drops, mm -hmm. like per turn, will be on a creature. Whereas, like, it gets single-use extra land drops also that the other colors don't get. Yeah. Like, Oracle of Moldiah letting you play off the top. Yep. Yep. Uh, I guess that's another thing Green gets to do that wasn't even on my list, is letting you play lands from the top of your deck. There's a bunch of cards that do that. Jolly Green Giant. Um, uh, like you Corsair. said, Oracle. Yeah, Corsair. Also something other colors don't get to do. And then 
kind of like what you alluded to earlier is green cares about lands just lands in general it gets to tutor for lands it gets to uh bring lands back out of the graveyard it gets to modify lands um Mm -hmm. by doubling up mana or in other ways um it gets to animate lands turn like especially lately green's been big into turning lands like into creatures to swing with yeah oh i found out the, the enchantment i was talking about heartbeat of spring oh yeah yeah yeah. okay okay very good yep. i i i am <laughs> i i have i have stated my thing okay continue um so green yeah g- j- i guess just in general cares about lands there's a cares about lands that the new turtle that like pumps all your um creature lands creature lands and puts lands from your graveyard onto the battlefield. Yeah. Um. So, uh, yeah, just like ramp in general, and like kind of the the manipulation of your lands. What else we got here? Um, cares about the graveyard. Yeah, self mill. Mm-hmm. Um, and then we got counters mm-hmm. in terms of like plus one plus one counters. Well, it kind of shares this with like white as well. Yeah, kind of like any counter though. Like green gets a lot of ability keyword counters when we're doing those mm-hmm. more. Like that green's always one of the colors that gets those no matter what set it's in. Mm-hmm. Um, in sets with neg one, neg one counters, they're also in green. So like kind of just counters in general. And then like green also gets the ability to add extra counters. Uh, we were talking about this in the pre-show a little bit, but things like hardened scales or doubling season, or um, like winding constrictor, conclave, whatever that conclave, conclave mentor. Conclave mentor. Yeah. And then there's the uh, oh, what's the oh gosh, well there's the Ozolith, the broken spire, mm-hmm. and then uh, there's like evolution sage where it mm-hmm. has landfall proliferate, but Ooh, there's about lands and landfall. counters does it all yeah so green yeah um and then gets to pull up artifacts and enchantments yep it it kind of gets to do whatever it wants with artifacts and enchantments it gets to blow them up it gets to exile them there's cards that tuck them in green so unravel the aether yep right because they're they're flavor wise they're unnatural additions to the world correct so we send them away even though green also has artifacts and, and enchantments. I was going to say, two down here, we have enchantress stuff. <laughs> yeah. Where you get paid off for playing enchantments. Mm-hmm. Yeah, all Even of the we enchantress like, shenanigans are usually in, in green. In green. Maybe they were like, we hate enchantments unless we're casting them. Then A plus, give me a card. Right. Um, <laughs> and a counter. And a counter, please. Uh, and then, like, we get to dis- the only thing, the only types of creatures that can destroy kind of without help are flyers. Yeah, it can straight up like nuke a flyer. Mm-hmm. Just about every Just, set has like a limited common that's destroy a flyer or destroy an artifact or something. Yeah, what was, uh, was it Atroxus Fall from like two sets ago? Was like mm-hmm. get a flyer, a battle, or an enchantment? Yeah. Um, and then we have a lot of tokens and token doublers like creatures and that that enter and make a token mm-hmm. and all that kind of stuff yeah and also like green kind of cares about the tokens more so than the other colors mm-hmm. um like like we've had a bunch of sagas lately where it's like make a token put a counter on a token draw a card if the token has a counter or mm. make a token make a copy of a token make a copy of a token yeah, or like the you know the make a token, put counters on, it, and then like if you have a creature that happens to be yeah. the size of that this creature would be after the first two steps, draw a card kind of right. deal. Yeah. Um, uh, so as you can see here, green does a lot. Mm-hmm. Basically, um, anything it wants to, as long as it's tied to a creature. Yes, even if that even though if that link is uh, pretty tenuous. It uh, it's like there's a creature involved. We're gold. Yeah, I think like about the only thing that green 
strictly doesn't do, like isn't even on my list here, but is like counter a spell. Yes, and when green has gotten anything that gets close to that ability, it breaks magic. I'm looking at you. Um, oh Veil gosh. of Summer. Veil of Summer. Yeah, it's like I one green about counter a black spell. But like, that wasn't technically a counter spell. It just ended up functioning like a counter spell. Yeah. But, well, that, um, I mean, that's kind of green's thing, though, is it doesn't get the thing. It gets something that works like the thing. Yeah. It doesn't quite get it. Um, so, like, with all of these strengths, like, there's a complaint that, like, green doesn't have a strong color identity, or its color identity is, like, too broad. Yeah. And I think that what we've seen over the last few years, uh, I guess mainly for, like, commander purposes, but, like, a kind of a push to broaden other colors... Um, well, color pie. I also kinda think to keep that, up with green. Yeah, I also think that they've backed off green a little bit too, though. Like mm -hmm. the the cries that green gets to do everything and green's overpowered. Like that was mainly like the Throne of Eldraine era. And yeah, then, questing beast Oko. Oko, yeah. Like since then, I think they've backed the power off some. And yeah, like. Like green hasn't been super playable in standard for a while. Yeah, and I think they did it gradually, so people didn't really didn't notice. But I don't think green's been like super oppressive, like it like it was. Um, but just like they decided that black was going to be able to like destroy enchantments yeah. if if not roundabout, and it was like, well, these other colors can do it, and so why can't black? Right. And it's kind of, but it's kind of like, well, we can destroy artifacts in three colors but there were really only two colors that destroyed enchantments and it's like well green's both of those does both of those right right like it's like mm, like well i guess like if we're gonna play a commander deck and you're gonna be black you should be able to deal with an enchantment like to kind of be on that same level as green is like you know we're like i guess greens i guess we can talk about weaknesses mm -hmm. right so where like green gets to get artifacts and enchantments its main hole is just like green green destroy target creature like it doesn't just destroy a creature yeah where like white and black get to but like black has the hole of i don't get artifacts mm -hmm. yeah and white has the hole of all my creatures suck yeah, like green's way of dealing with creatures is either in combat with bigger creatures or combat tricks or through like either a bite or a fight spell where you mm -hmm. need a creature and you're forcing it into combat with another creature. Um, which like kind of acts the same way, which is part of why like green doesn't have a super strong color identity because as long as you have a dude, it gets to do the thing. It just yeah, doesn't get like to say like destroy the thing. Yeah, it's, it it adds an extra step. It's yeah. terminate with an extra step. Yeah. A lot of times. And, and then, sometimes it's not even terminate. Sometimes it's like, well, I guess my thing's not big enough to kill their thing. Right. Yeah, Oops. sometimes you end up with like a two for one because your thing dies also. Yeah, your thing has death touch. Yeah. And you're like, okay, I can kill their shieldred, but my thing dies as well. Yeah. Um, Green also doesn't get to like straight up draw cards. Yeah. Like, blue gets two and a blue, draw two cards. Green yeah. green doesn't get two and a green, draw two cards. Um, a lot of green's card draw is tied to creatures. Thing enters the battlefield, you get to draw a card. If a creature enters the battlefield, you get to draw a card. If some other type of a permanent enters the battlefield, you get to draw a card. Um, but typically, like, it's tied to creatures. It's, yeah, it's like, you have, like, Creatures like uh Elvish Visionary. Uh, Elvish Visionary, or I was gonna say like uh not Titania. Beast Whisperer. No 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 the Oh yeah the three green blue. Tatiova, yeah. Uh, Tatiova. Yeah, yep. Tatiova, um like landfall draw card. Yeah. Um or tireless tracker, landfall, mm -hmm. get a thing that turns into a card. Yep. And um, uh or like Things like uh, Glimpse of Nature, whenever mm -hmm. a 
creature ETBs, you draw a card, or like Great Henge. Hmm. What was the green? It, was, uh, it had Garrick on. I think it was from Throne. It was like four and a green draw a card for each creature you control. Oh yeah, something the Wild Speaker. Something yeah, the maybe. Wild Speaker. Yeah. Um, they had Regal Force. If you go back real far, mm-hmm. like four green, green, green for like a seven, seven that drew a card for each creature you controlled. Yep. I know that someone's like, "What about Harmonize?" And it's like Harmonize is like kind of an outlier. Just like White got whatever the like three one mana deal three to a creature. Yeah. Uh, as like uh, Sunlance, mm-hmm. as like a color shifted weird thing, like Harmonize, like is kind of an outlier. Yeah. In terms of that, like almost everything else that is set like, count. <laughs> yeah. Well, they have like kind of conditional card draw. I mean, you know, since we're in like the Ixalan frame of mind, like explore a lot of that sits in green because it's kind of tied to lands, creatures, and the graveyard. Yeah. Kind it's of also thing. like green does get some selection as well. Things like Oath of Nyssa or Seder Wayfinder, where you get mm. to, like, look at the top num- certain number of cards and, like, pick one of them, put it in your hand, and then either put the rest in the bin or back in your library. What was uh, Dryad Green Seeker? Was the, like, tap, look at the top card? Yep. And if it's a land, put it in your hand. It has a lot of, like, did you hit a land? Sick. Put that in your hand. Did you hit not a land? You can decide if you want to draw it or not. Right. Like, you yeah, put like it in you your graveyard. Explore. Yeah, but um, it doesn't typically just get to, like, draw stuff. But, like, the problem with, like, tying a lot of your card draw to, like, you know, Elvish Visionary type cards is, like, your creatures kind of inherently become two-for-ones. Right. Um, and then green doesn't get uh, flyers. It's not supposed to. Not really. Yeah. I mean, you have down here, a Hornet Queen is a thing. Yeah, well, it, I, I didn't mean Hornet Queen is a thing. I meant the whole Hornet Queen thing. Like, there was, I don't know if you remember back in M15, but there was, like, a bunch of drama when Hornet, Hornet Queen got printed. Like, Rosewater was staunchly against printing Hornet Queen. Because oh, it, really? Yeah, because it was a flyer and had Death Touch. So it did kind of two things that green doesn't get to do. Number one is have flyers, and number two is basically all of the 1-1 death touchers were a removal spell. Okay. So he was, like, staunchly against Hornet Queen being printed. And... But isn't this the same person who, uh, who like, said the answer for the what color combination would get a 4-mana, uh, a 5-mana... Four four flying vigilance, and the answer was black green. Yeah, because vigilance is green and flying is black, and it's like you've Correct. never printed that card. Correct. Um, so I, I can see it. Um, but like they get ground bound removal spells mm-hmm. uh, in creature form. You know, the the like one one green death toucher. Yep. Like that's like a staple. I mean, I can see it. Like, there aren't, there really aren't any green flyers that are just purely green. Well, like, if we're on a set with dragons, like, where dragons are a theme, we'll get a green dragon. But really, that's it. Like, way back in Alpha, we had Scrib Sprites. Oh, yeah. And then we have the the Flash one that's, like, pro blue. Yeah. Um, oh, yeah. So, oh, yeah, let's get rid of that. I, I had the I had the the type uh, enchantment, and we didn't want the type enchantment. We had the type creature. All right, nope, I got rid of it. Try again. So, how many creatures with flying have there been printed in green? Uh, oh, this is hard. No, no, okay. Uh, no, it's, it is gonna be hard. Um, yeah, because like green is counting gold. No, green is. I don't know how green is counting. Oh, I have the color as commander as opposed uh, to just like regular color. Cause it's like, why are there artifacts in here? <laughs> so there are 102 cards that like have flying in the text. Yeah. But that's not all things that, um, 
You know, it's like Arbor Colossus where you get to like yeah. punch a flyer. I guess Birds of Paradise has been around for like ever. That's true. They yeah. have a bunch of like little ones, like you know, Bayou Dragonfly, like things like Gilded a lot of insects. Goose. Yeah, a lot of like small flyers. Yeah. But you are right, there's ancient bronze dragon. But yeah, there there are less than a hundred green creatures that mention flying. Yeah, that's so a, most of them are yeah, most of them are not uh a lot of them are like deal one damage to a flyer when the CTB is kind of deal. Yeah. I mean if there's less than a hundred creatures with flying in green and we have more than a hundred sets that's an average of less than 1% per set. Yes. Agreed. Agreed. So yeah, there are there aren't that many. Yeah. Um but we have like bangers like Xantid Swarm. Oh, I forgot about Xantid Swarm. Yeah. Um Yeah, so green that is like and like that comes up like in Limited where you're like the green deck and like you didn't get your reach creature right. and you just like lose to a 2-2 flyer over the course of a few turns. Couldn't find your giant spider. Yeah, and you're like, oh, come on. Yep. Um, and then, um, what is this? Yeah, like, this part wasn't actually in any article that I could found. But okay. I thought it needed referencing because, like, specifically, this series is supposed to be, like, with an eye towards deck building so that mm -hmm. people know, like, what the different colors are supposed to do when they're building their decks. And in general, mono green at least in my opinion, tends to be like A plus B decks where you mm -hmm. have two halves of a deck that need to come together and do a thing, whereas like the other colors kind of have a singular strategy. Um, in green, like it's kind of prone to drawing the wrong half of your deck. Or not prone to, but that's the risk Can. you take. Yeah. Um, things like boggles, you need mm -hmm. a boggle and pants and if you Ooh. only draw boggles then you're gonna have a bad day and if you only draw pants you're gonna have a bad day uh things mm -hmm. like ramp where if you draw all of your ramp spells and no payoffs it doesn't do you any good and if you draw all your payoffs and no ramp spells it doesn't do you any good yeah uh those and then the and then we have enchantress which is enchantress plus enchantments and then infect infector plus pump like there's there's definitely a right order the cards have to come off the top of your deck yeah well hopefully um, they're intermingled <laughs> yes yeah yes yeah like because green doesn't actually have removal mm -hmm. it's hard for green to play like a mid-range game right because you can't kill anything right so you're more just I need to do my thing. And hope it's better and, than your thing. And hope it's better than your thing. But, like, your thing is, like you said, it needs two things to come together. Because you don't get to play that, like, I can be the aggro this game. I can be this, like, no, I'm going to be the ramp deck. Yeah. I need ramp plus thing. I'm going to be the, the enchantress deck. I need enchantress plus thing. Yeah. And, like, we have referenced this in the past also. I know when when we were talking about Actually, when we were on the show complaining about green being able to do everything, being overpowered mm -hmm. or whatever, um, that was around the Nissa who shakes the world times, mm -hmm. and that was a ramp deck whose ramp spells and payoffs were the same cards. Mm, yes. So you you kind of negated this whole problem because Nissa was a threat and a ramp spell and a payoff, like all kind of wrapped up into one. Yeah. Uh, another card that doubles your mana, which I totally right. forgot about. Yeah. Um, and cares about lands. <laughs> and cares about lands, yeah. Um, I guess if we we're going to say, if we we're going to go back, if we we're going to say elves were the small creatures and hydras were the mediums, I feel like elementals is somewhere as like green's medium ish creature. I feel like there's a lot of green elementals. Um, there are, but there's also like a lot of blue and red elementals as well. Yeah. But just like, I feel like there's a lot of things in green that like make an elemental. Yeah. I could be wrong though. No, I, like just Nissa made me think of that. Yeah, Nissa makes elementals, uh Titiana makes elementals. Mm hmm Uh and uh Titania does, right? Or the, her hers or hers yep. five three elementals. Yep. So 
like the even though green has like the weaknesses of like you know like a lot of green's weaknesses are mitigated to some degree mm. like doesn't have flyers but has a ton of reach creatures right and usually they're pretty big yeah so like they're oftentimes bigger than the flyers also has destroy target creature with flying yes um and then like the card draw like we said like you know the great henge is like repeatable mm -hmm. like you play like the one card for the great henge and maybe it draws you 10 cards right where like if you play divination it draws you two right and like th think about like um like kiora the planeswalker the three mana one that draws you a card every time a four mana a creature with four power comes into play. Yep. There's Garrick's Uprising. Yep. Same deal. There's oh, Colossal something that like, hey, each upkeep, you're gonna get a card if you have a big boy. Yeah. And so like, while it might be a little bit slower, oftentimes you can generate more and more and more cards. Snowballs. Than you would from yeah, than you would from a typical for that much mana. In another color. Um, so yeah, green. Like the green ends up being a really good. It's really good with kind of all the colors. Yeah, like it's... it pairs well with black and red. <laughs> black, red, and white particularly because they have the good removal. Mm -hmm. But then it pairs well with blue because green gives you all the mana. And then blue gives you all the cards to use with that mana. Well, I mean, green also has good creatures that blue doesn't have. Yeah, yeah. fair. Like, it gives you the mana and the creatures, and then blue gives you interaction and yeah. cards. Yeah, I mean, it, like, if you think back about, um, like, what decks have been popular in the past, most of the mid-range decks that have been good have been green because, mm -hmm. like, you need... You need something to apply pressure with, and green is the best at that. When you can back that up with red removal, black discard, black removal, blue counter spells, what, whatever it is, um, like green is the best at applying that like mid range pressure that those mid range decks want want to do. Yeah, and like because their creatures are like so big, right? Like a like three mana four four oftentimes has like some sort of upside now like i have the like the mono green nykthos creatures in my head that are green 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 mm -hmm. but there's a lot of creatures that are more castable right that are still like oversized for their historical like no threshing brown uh, one green green for a three four with upside yeah that's exactly the one i was going to mention yeah um like still castable and still, like, even now, kind of bigger than right. most everything in that, uh, in that like, like, spot. Yeah. And so, when you had, like, oh, white gets better aggressive creatures, it's like, they do, but, like, when you get to go elf into 4-4. Four four, right. Like, you... Well, that, you... that's the difference, yeah. They, I didn't mean white had better aggressive creatures. Like, or, white, like, small creatures. Yeah, white's better at, like, the... The ones and two drops. And green's better at, like, the the rest of them. <laughs> <laughs> the rest of them. Like, all but of like, the rest of them, green's better at. Yeah, like, there's just so many, like, really, really pushed, hard to cast, but really, really pushed uh, triple green three drops. Mm -hmm. Like, just think about Steel Leaf Champion, Old yep. Growth Troll. Pelucranos. And Pelucranos. Uh just like in the last little bit i mean you know and those cards make what is it leatherback bailoff mm -hmm. look like a joke like that used to be that card used to be like fringe modern playable yep that was like green 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 for a four four mm -hmm. like no text yeah i think so every so often little, little kid green white or little abzan little, little kid abzan yeah uh simpler times now it'd be like solitude that <laughs> fury kill it draw three cards uh oh uh oh speaking of like um green getting to like draw draw like conditional cards yeah 
we forgot to mention the biggest card, the hottest card draw of them all. Uh, up the beanstalk. Oh yeah, beans. Yeah, so like, like beans is like fired is arson design. It's not <laughs> even fire design. It's just burn this, burn it all down, um, light it on fire. Right, like it's like oh, I come in, you get a card, which green typically doesn't do unless it's on a creature, right? Or again, related to a creature, and then like it is an enchantment though, and enchantress stuff is when an enchantment green, enters the battlefield, fair. you draw a card. But, like, you, and then you read the card, and you're like, oh, you're supposed to do, like, you're supposed to ramp into five drops. Yeah. And get paid off, and it's like, mm -mm, no, no, no. Are you supposed to cast three spells? Yeah, there's all these five drops that cost zero mana. Right. Cool. But, like, yeah, be Beans is another one of those kind of, like, like, a lot of the green card draw is kind of engine-based. Mm-hmm. You, like, build your Rube Goldberg machine, and it spits cards out of it at the end. Yeah, right. sometimes that machine is just like Great Henge. <laughs> just right? a card. Just a card. It's Uro. Right? Yeah, Uro. Or again, like, you know, whatever, Garrick's Uprising, where it's like just the machine is have a 4 4. Right. Or have a 4 powered thing. That is like the thing you need to do. And, uh, um, like beans is just like your 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 thing your your machine is just cast all the best spells in modern <laughs> for no mana. Sick. I can do that. Cool. Also, like it's also a red ability or a thing that is tied to red, but speaking of like big creatures, green has a handful of like I have I'm a defender, mm -hmm. but if you um uh have a big creature yeah, I get to rumble. Well, like, I mean that's another thing fist. that's not on the, uh, not on the sheet here. But green also gets butt fight, and that's like other, 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 other colors thing don't of. get butt fight. Bodie, that's right. There, there's a new card. You know how usually the butt fight cards kind of have the downside of like, hey, if you have a four two, mm -hmm. he he only bumps for two yeah. when you have your like thing out. They're new. They have a new card that's an 06. Yeah. That says if your creature has more toughness than power. Oh, nice. So there's like, so if you have a 4 3, it still hits for 4. Right. But your 06 you hits a, for 6? Yes. Yeah. And your Arboreal Grazer hits for 3? Yes. And it's effectively, I like it's effectively a 4 mana 6 6. Nice. And there's like a, uh, they also have some like, like really big creatures that are conditional. Like if you think about like uh, Wayward Swordtooth, mm -hmm. uh, Territorial Stomper, yeah, where like they might let you play extra lands. They're under, but cost, then they're like, like, yeah, they're under cost, but like they don't do anything until like the conditions been you, met. Yeah, you've uh, like uh, particularly like had enough lands in play. Mm -hmm. Um, see, a green, like I said, the, the hole that green has, like, or the holes that greens have, or that green has, is kind of just mitigated a lot of times by the fact that their creatures are so much better. Yeah. Right? Like, if they play a four mana five five, right? And then you play a four mana, like, three three flyer or four three flyer, like, you lose that race. Mm hmm. So it doesn't matter that you had the flyer because right. you just get bonked for five a couple times yep. and you're dead. So, yeah, I think, like, is green the most popular color in Commander? No, I have no idea. I think. I don't know. Here, let's find out. Quick Googling. Uh, I don't know if I'm going to be able to find this. Most played cards and colors. Uh, da, da, da. Data. Soul Ring's the most played card. Sick. Uh, oh. Weird. I was... So, um, black is the single most played monocolored hmm. color. Or mo poly color. 
but then you have at like almost five percent. Yeah. And then you have green and green black, then red and blue, then Grixis Esper, and then you get to green just by itself. I thought green was further up the old list. Um yeah, it just gets to do so much more than than most colors. But you are right. It green has not been like as oppressive as it was five years ago. Yeah. Four years ago. Times a flat circle. Um Yeah, but it's not as as bad as it was all those years ago. Mm-hmm. But it's still it still gets like the, the occasional creature that you go like, why? Why is this a thing? It gets the questing beast. It gets the questing beast. Um, Elder Gargaroth. Yep. Like, why? I mean, that's basically like, a questing beast, though. It, <laughs> it is. <laughs> it is. But it, it, you, you're like, why is this a thing? Yeah. Like, why does it have so much text? Yeah. Um, so. I wonder I what think... color is the wordiest. Oh. I don't, I, don't know, I don't know if I could find that one. Yeah, I don't know. Uh, I think that's beyond my Google foo. Uh, hmm. Uh, I do not... Uh, yeah, I don't see any... Um, yeah, I'm sure it's in uh, Blogatog somewhere, but... Yeah, I'm sure it's, like, built deep in the internet. Yeah. Like, it's, like, on that page, the the banner ads are for, like, buying kidneys. <laughs> <laughs> like, you've got to go deep in the internet to find <laughs> Would you like them on one. ice? Yes. Yes. Um, would you like to pick the bathtub the, the, that is filled with ice? <laughs> uh, I would, actually. I will pay extra for that. Um, so, I don't know. I think that green has gotten more in line with everything else, but it is kind of like, it doesn't feel like there is really a, like, like all the other colors, there's kind of like clear things that they're bad at. Yeah. And green, it's like, oh, you don't get flyers. And it's like, oh, okay. Yeah. Basically anything else is on the table, though. Yeah, anything else is like fine. Yep. Um so yeah, so I don't know. I don't know, like I kinda like I guess I don't know here you go. Which of the colors would you say like you associate yourself most with in your magic play? Like just um, one color. Um you can't say John because it's three, you gotta pick one. Yeah, no, probably black. Probably black? Yeah. Like, I don't know. Like, I know it's not white or blue. Yeah. So I'm down in the, like, you know. So I don't know if it's, like, I don't know if I am more of, like, green. Well, I mean, maybe. But, like, you tend to play, like, combo decks. I do. Which. So I just play, like, random The color stuff. doesn't matter because it's whatever the combo is and whatever colors support the combo. Yes. Fair. So I don't know that, like, you actually have a color. Yeah, my, though my my uh, a recent arena playing has been a lot of just like garbage aggro decks and stuff. Yeah, I mean, it, but like when you don't, when there's not like a clear cut combo deck for you to play, I think you do play some sort of green mid range whatever. Yeah. Um, but I mean, I play a lot of green also, but I think I think I play more black than green. Yeah. So I like having interactive it, games and like yeah. green's not the best at interacting. Like it just kind of does its thing and hopes it's better than whatever your opponent's doing. And like and you, black, you, black you is would, the key. You want to stop them some. You want to stop them some. Yeah. Well, I, I just want to interrupt the game plan. Like I want to throw a wrench in and see what happens. When that happens at work, you just have to get a new engine. That's so this true. is, uh, this is much cheaper <laughs> for you. It's it much is cheaper to throw a wrench here. Yep. Oh, man. The old magic engine. Yeah. Now I kind of wish like we could just get you like little wrenches that we, if you were to play a paper game, we could just throw at your opponent. <laughs> I mean, I, I have a plethora of 3D printers. I could print some wrenches. 
Yeah. <laughs> wrench in your plan. Thought cheese, uh, turn one. Here's your wrench. I will tap one black, <laughs> throw a wrench at you, play thought fuzzies. Yep. I will tap a black, cast fatal push, throw a wrench at you. <laughs> Judge, I've got two wrenches. Be like, they're actually the. This one is a five millimeter. This one's a six. They actually work. <laughs> I'm very, I'm very detail oriented. Go ahead. There we go. Maybe I'll put some wrenches for the tools. patrons. Giving these, these, these fools some tools as yeah. I take their stuff. <laughs> All right. So we got any other green thoughts? No, I think that pretty much wraps it up. A little bit of a short episode this week. But a little bit of a short episode. It's all right, because Brian's, uh, Brian's fading. I am I am sleepy and grumpy. Yeah. I am, uh, I am two of the uh, more less fun dwarves. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> I'll wrap them to one normal-sized human. Yeah, exactly. Um, not as useful as the doc. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so uh, with that, I think we got a show. We got a show. Uh, real quick, without we have a show, I do have one one thing. So I was sure. I was at um, I was at NC State, mm -hmm. and some of the faculty there were talking, and um, they're like, "Oh yeah, well, I was up in New York, and you know, Doctor So and So I won't use any names here, but Doctor So and So was up there because you know his wife plays Carnegie Hall every three or four years. Oh. Yeah, yeah, she is a medical doctor, but she's also an accomplished concert pianist. I was like, wow, well, oh. I've never felt more inferior yeah. in my entire <laughs> life than just like, oh yeah, you know, she's just like super good at two things. I was like, oh right. yeah, I'm barely good at like half <laughs> thing. I was like, dang. So I occasionally plays Carnegie Hall. Anyway, occasionally, if if you um have a any thoughts, suggestions for the show? Perhaps uh, tickets to your show at Carnegie Hall. Um, you can send all that stuff to us on uh, Facebook, Discord, Twitter, email. All that stuff is in the description. Come in and say hey. Yep. Hit us up. We'd, we'd love to hear from you. If you're looking to support the show, as usual, there's a couple ways you can do it. The first is with a TCG player affiliate link, casualtryhard.com slash TCG. Surf on over to TCG Player with that link, and anything you purchase will help to support the show. We would really appreciate it. It doesn't cost you guys anything extra and goes a long way to keeping the show going. If you're looking to support us more directly, you can go to patreon.com slash casual tryhard MTG. Uh, sign up for Patreon, chip a couple bucks in. Whatever you feel like you can afford, we would appreciate. Uh, patrons get access to our show notes. They get access to about another hour of content out of us in our pre-show. And you get put on my mailing list for when I have swag for you guys. Uh, if any of that sounds good, or if you just want to support the show and throw us a couple bucks, that is the best way to do it. Patreon.com slash casual tryhard MTG. Yeah. All right. So with that, we'll catch you on the internet. We'll catch you on the internet.